Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra. And today we are going to talk about how you can bridge your stables or any token from Optimism to Arbitrum. But once you learn this technique, you can basically bridge your token from any blockchain to any other blockchain. And it's very easy, but we'll be focusing mostly on moving stables from Arbitrum to Opti uh, Optimism to Arbitrum or vice versa. Because as we are seeing this layer two narratives are becoming way stronger and there are a lot of interesting projects which are upcoming on this uh, on this platform. For example, nested.fi is one of those platform project that uh, we are keeping an eye on and I'll, I'll be doing a detailed video on this in the upcoming video. So if you don't want to miss that, do subscribe to the channel so that you get notified. Anyways, uh, so now getting back to the uh, optimism uh, USDC, right? Like, so what we are basically doing is we have some USDC on the optimism chain and we want to move it to Arbitrum chain, right? Now, one of the easiest way to do this is by using the exchange, centralized exchanges withdrawal system. But what really baffles me that most of the good centralized exchange, including Binance, at this moment does not offer withdrawal to Arbitrum or Optimism chain. They had this feature, I believe, in the past, but they removed it to support their BUSD narrative. But anyways, I hope they will bring it soon. Uh, but let's see how, how it works out in the days to come. Now, uh, other exchanges like MEXC, again, they don't have uh, support for Optimism and Arbitrum. Similarly, Gate.io, which is, which is a very uh, established crypto exchange they also don't have. Now the number two exchange in my opinion, which is OKX, they do have option to withdraw to Optimism or even Arbitrum, but unfortunately Arbitrum is suspended at this moment. And if you are in need, you want to like make quick transaction uh, or do some D, uh, DeFi or social fi experiment, well, you need to either wait or what you can do is you can withdraw fund to Optimism chain and then you can move it to Arbitrum one. So here is, a, here is how you can do it. The best way to do it is first search for bridge from Optimism to Arbitrum. You'll find this official link from Optimism website. And this page has a lot of different tools, right? And this, this is also a great place to discover some interesting projects if you want to. Now, once you once you're here, you can click on any of these links. Again, some of them are, uh, most of them are similar. But for this, we are going to use Hot Exchange because they are also offering some live incentive, which I'm not sure what I'm gonna get, but we'll try, okay? So now the very first thing, this is the Hop Exchange where I am right now. It's hosted on IPFS. Thanks to Brave Browser, it shows you, it, sh it has this feature which shows you which website is hosted on IPFS. And I think like most of the decentralized app should be hosted on IPFS for the true decent decentralization. Anyways, so now once you're here, you can click on connect a wallet. You can connect with MetaMask, Wallet Connect. Basically by using Wallet Connect, you can use Trust Wallet, your uh, MetaMask mobile or any other mobile wallet that you're using. Then Genosis Safe and Coinbase Wallet. So what I'll be doing is I'll be connecting using Wallet Connect. So let me quickly scan this. So now I'm connected and I could see I have some balance here. Uh, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to move it from uh, Optimism to Arbitrum, but you also have another option like you can move it to other chain, other network like uh, Polygon or Ethereum if you want to. So in this case, let's move about um, 300. Okay. Now the very first thing we need to do is we need to approve this transaction and you can always see the fee. So the, the bonder fee is $0.25, which is fixed. So uh, instead of doing multiple transaction, you, you should focus on doing one transaction. And the destination transaction cost is about 0 0.2. I think that's the gas fee, okay? But you also have an option that you can enter a custom recipient. So instead of, so what's happening here, the wallet that I'm connected will be basically receiving fund on the same wallet, but on the Arbitrum chain, right? But if you want to receive fund on any other chain or you sending fund to some other friend who is on a different chain, but your fund is on Optimism or different network, you can use this platform and just enter their address here. Perfect. So the very first thing we need to do is approve the transaction. You can approve all or you can just allow approval of the amount that you want to do. So uh, for the security, I would suggest use just this one. Uh, remove the approval option and just click on approve. Allow this transaction on your wallet. Uh, since it's a layer two solution, it should not take more than a few seconds. Now once done, click on send and again uh, approve this transaction. Uh, the transaction should take about one minute or less and then you, you'll have the stable on your uh, wallet, okay? 
Uh, and before we move ahead, I'll just quickly want to check one more thing uh, and then we can uh, close this. So yeah, I've received the fund, which took about less than 20 seconds, so which is perfect. And I can click on close, the transaction can continue happening. So these are the tokens which are supported here. Uh, okay, now rewards, I believe the rewards that we are getting is in the form of Okay, so maybe this require a different study which we'll do sometime in the future, but this is how you can bridge a token from one blockchain to another. And whenever possible, you know, you can use your centralized exchange. Some of the centralized exchange like OKX uh, supports withdrawing to, you know, uh, this layer two solution, including Avalanche, or OKC, which is their own chain. And of course, Optimism and Arbitrum one. So I'll leave the link of uh, this also in the description. You can sign up for OKX if you like. It's, it's, it's a very popular exchange, uh, just for your reference. And if you like this video, just drop a quick comment. It would help us to uh, do more such videos. And do check out our future videos where I'm going to be sharing about this really amazing platform, which you should, which you will find useful as a trader, as a strategy maker, and also as an investor, hopefully. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.